Hi everyone, my name is Dee Dee. I'm going to talk you through the woodworking craft within ESO. Uh, for those who are regular to my channel, say hello to a new character I've been working on this weekend. Uh, it's a level 15 sorcerer, specialising in the storm calling line. He is pretty rude boy, obviously I've kind of dyed all his clothes and stuff. Um, I would highly recommend that you, I will do how to level up fast, um, but if once you kind of like play one way through and you start to understand, or so once you play one character through and you start to understand how you level up quite quickly, then yeah, maybe just go back and create another one because you're going to level that one up even faster. Anyway, if you don't like your character, there's definitely don't worry about restarting and getting another character going. Anyway. So before I kick off, uh, I'm just going to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. I've nearly hit a thousand subscribers, which for me is amazing considering I started making videos probably about two months ago. So thank you all, all my subscribers for, for sticking with me and um, I'm really happy you enjoy the videos and for that, you know, everyone who shows the support and leaves a comment and all those wonderful things that you do and, and giving the encouragement and yeah, it's really... Uh, really appreciate it thank you so much so let's talk about woodworking so first tip to leveling up woodworking as we talked before about how and my one of my other videos is how to get iron which is get all crafting materials really and gold fast it's especially in places like here which is Davin's watch there's lots of people just leaving stuff lying around so these bows are going to be mine. You you do find, unfortunately, with some of the skill lines that you don't get much kit lying around, and certainly these mauls or these axes, and they're all for blacksmithing, so no use to me for woodworking. Same with these swords and those daggers, uh, the helms, all that sort of stuff. There'll be leather working. Or you really are, other things you can look out for are the shields, and there is one there. So, excuse me, you ain't see me, right? Uh, I'm just going to take that. Oh, there's a shield there. Are they going to spot me? Oh, I always get caught doing this. Some of the people I play with are just absolute jedis when it comes to stealing. They're like, I never get caught, whereas I always get caught. Um, I would normally steal absolutely everything, but anyway, just for the interest of time, I'm just going to go for it. So that is my tip. Basically, if you are in <laughs> Davin's Watch, that, steal everything that's in there. Steal everything. Uh, and then just keep crafting it. It's pretty cool because actually, uh, hello, um, it levels up as you level up. And I'll show you that in a minute. Go on. Go away, Narvin. Um, it levels up as you level up, so the stuff that you're nicking, stealing, being a bit of a, a light-handed person. Thank you to the person who put out that this, in French, apparently, this is the fact of the day. In French, the skill line, Ledger de main, and I apologise that I probably said that really badly in French, means light-handed, like fingered actually, I think, in French. Oh, right, so these staffs are now mine. Um, so yeah, I this this is obviously really similar in terms of how woodworking work. It actually is used in the game and the kind of basics, the fundamentals of it. It's the same as blacksmithing and clothing or clothing. Uh, but I did get asked to make one specific to woodworking, so I'm trying to just kind of pull it all together for you. And let me just chat. I'm not chatting my face off to everybody. No, that's good. Um, and Hendo7715, I think it was him that um, asked me for this particular video. So here it is. Hello, Hendo. Also, hello to Anarchy Rider86. He uh, he bumped into me as I was trying to call this earlier. So, um, yeah. Hello, mate. Right. Okay. So now I've, as I say, collect up everything and I would suggest that and I'll show you this that if I go in here's here's my my sales dude these um bows that I've just nicked and same with oh my gosh how much stuff have I got uh where is it I just skip past it 
Am I going insane? He's not even interested in buying them. So, yeah, it, you're not going to get any money for them. So it's not like if you collect them up that you're going to get any money. And to be fair, I think I just saw that shield, one shield. So let's take, for example, come on, where's it gone? The shield that I've got there, that one, 21 gold. Uh, it's not, 21's not, you're not going to, you know, it's not going to change the world on you if you do or don't sell that. Um, I guess between woodworking, blacksmithing and clothing, clothing, I, I do feel that if you want to make a reasonable amount of money, just choose one in the short term and then sell every other one from the other lines that you don't use and that will actually benefit you in terms of money to get you a horse. But once you've got the horse, I'd probably concentrate on doing them all to a degree and I'll talk about to a degree as well because I'm going to take this video a bit further. So refinement we've talked about before. You can see I've got rough oak now because I've actually managed to leave or gain um, access to rough oak which gives me stand standard oak but as always with these get 10 of them refine them enables you to start creating stuff with it key difference with with wood crafting woodworking is that you can create bows and staffs and shields so it's quite a multi-disciplined area archers obviously want the bows staffs are going to be important to sorcerers and the restoration for healers and shields for your tankies so it's a bit of a bit of a mixture on this one you can see then in terms of materials i've got 186 maple that's because that's across all my characters and what's in the bank for all my characters on the eu server so it's not that this character's got 186 it's all my other characters and it's also got 14 sanded maple or sorry 18 so forth and so on i'm only level 15 with this character so i can't use an oak staff yet i'm still on maple but i'm looking forward to it and I've talked about this before, you kind of add in more material into whatever you're crafting, it then creates a better weapon, you can choose how it looks, that's purely cosmetic, and you can add traits onto it, and at the moment I've only got defending on staffs that I've researched, oh no I've researched that one in Fuse as well, but I've got no Jade. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about that, that's pretty standard. Deconstructing is where, where is ultimately where it's at. Um, please go and watch my get iron get gold fast video um, it should say get materials or get crafting or level up crafting fast because this is yeah how it can be done really fast steal everything deconstruct it you get stuff back like sanded maple it pushes up that sanded maple and this obsidian are you gonna get any money if it's in the sanded maple that you've got um, actually you can sell it straight back to the vendor so I could go and do all my blacksmithing stuff, steal all those saws, go to the blacksmith, deconstruct it all, and then sell the blacksmith all the iron that I've got. It's literally what everybody does in the UK, steals copper, copper wires off the railway lines and sells them to the scrapyard. Anyway. Now, that's just, just standard, you know, you can see it's level 15, so the stuff i have stealing is leveled up to my rank as well. So I'm going up quite a lot, you know, I've almost, I started very low in 11, I'm almost two thirds of the way through 11. And you do get lucky sometimes and you'll steal something that's green and that levels you up even more. Chances are you don't get too much exciting stuff from the what you steal, it's only really where you find um, something which you've gained out in the world that actually gets you something a bit more interesting. But Nevertheless, I've just cracked out a sherbet loads of sanded maple. Which, if I wanted to, I could then start crafting my face off, start doing all that sort of different stuff. Um, another little cool thing to note is that you can see everyone all the different styles of staffs just by flicking between them. So if you want to know how one particular Daedra staff looks, then yeah, you can just change that. Anyway, so if I wanted to, I can come along create an eye staff, lightning staff with max amount of sanded maple, um, done. I'm not going to waste my piece of jade, all good. Now you'll see, although I'm only level 15, I can actually make that eye staff. I can actually start making these if I want to. And the reason I can do that 
is if I look at my skill tree and we scroll down to clothing, no what we're talking about, woodworking, I've actually put a skill point in the woodworking skill line. That means I can then create sanded oak and the next point I put in that obviously puts it up and I've done it quite a lot on clothing so I've got because I want to be able to create this guy amazing armor. The other things that help you boost your level up are across all of these passive abilities in these skill lines. So keen eye for wood helps you see the woods or metal or um, the plants that give you the jute scraps or whatever at 20 meters easier. I kind of, they just glow. So actually at night it's a lot easier, but during the day, not so much. However, I won't put skill points in this um, because I steal everything and that's how I get my my materials. So I don't really need it. It's only when you go and collect it in the world, but stealing isn't collecting in the world that's stealing in the world. Um, hiring a lumberjack. Now this is pretty cool. So they will send you wood and possibly other items every day now I do have this but for my other character for my wood elf character and every day I get a mail which says hello Prakoti is enjoying his work he travels light with few possessions he thinks that this is one of the two paths of true happiness he would one can accumulate more and more or simply desire to have less it also helps to have a short memory <laughs> Oh dear. Um, irony at the end. So you get an email, it gives you a little bit of something every day. You can see I've got a bit of wood and something else. I can take that and then obviously come back to my crafting. How much wood has he given me? Three. Pretty much nothing. And he's also given me some kind of stone, I think. Come on, go up there. So again, it's not really like massively in terms of skill points at low level it's not i yeah i don't think it's amazing or anything obviously the more skill points you get in it the more you get so yeah yeah, yeah. not going to help you that much or that one woodworking extraction proves the chance of extracting woodworking ingredients and allows the refining of more powerful resins with raw materials this is quite important because but only if you collect up lots of ingredients so what it means by woodwork ingredients is raw materials from the world and when you create those raw materials into some of the um, materials you use for crafting you actually potentially get some things you can use in improvements which is pretty helpful but not if you're stealing everything like me carpentry research times by five percent two items at once that's pretty cool. I guess it goes to three to four. With the amount of time it takes to do the three to four, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. And then resin FCs increase the chance of improving items with resins. Sorry for the video, just quickly skitching there. Um, something happened when I was recording. So we wanted, I was just talking about resin expertise. Uh, so this is gonna enable you to use less um, resins when improving your kit from you know normal to fine to superior going up those the greens to the blues so it improves the chances and therefore you're using less resins to make your kit better I don't think this is going to level you up that much faster because you only gain a little bit of experience in the, in the respective skill line um, when you're improving equipment and you're obviously not going to do that on bulk you're not going to be able to pack on a power level through using that so in summary the abilities and this these are the same to be honest as you'll see um, between the three major lines they aren't going to help you that much they are nice to have and so therefore I'm not really going to put many points in them to be honest I will on some the ones that I'm trying to do more than anything because they will give a little bit of buffs but in my mind the skill points that you get are kind of hard to find or hard to accumulate so the only one I'm really going to use is this and that's going to enable me to create better and more powerful weapons for my character only but the whole power leveling thing is definitely going to come from stealing and crafting sorry not crafting and things that you pick up um, oh I've got some pitch then ideal things that you're picking up when you're questing coming back here deconstructing them 
um, to make more points than just be very wary when you're doing it that you don't it's not has a benefit to researching it because researching is going to be really important to have different items at least two and I'll explain that why in another video <laughs> watch out for that one at least two um, of these traits researched within each of your items more so for armor but as I say we'll come on to that another time okay guys I hope you found that useful please give it a like a subscribe or just leave a comment below with any kind of feedback or anything I've got wrong I'm sure there's lots of people who will tell me I've got things wrong um, but so yeah just let me know obviously I want to improve the content so feedback is massively welcome okay that's it for now take care guys <laughs>